Hi everyone, welcome to the Grow Hot Peppers channel. Thanks for tuning in to the Sprouts and Microgreens series. Today, we're gonna to be growing broccoli sprouts in trays. Sprouts are great for beginning growers and people with small spaces because they don't require soil, they use very little counter space and you get extremely nutritious food in just a few days. Broccoli sprouts have a lot of health benefits. For example, they detoxify the body, they're anti-inflammatory, and they may even improve respiratory function, just to name a few of the benefits. Coming up, you'll see how I use a stackable sprouter by Handy Pantry for the first time. You can grow three levels of sprouts in just one square foot of counter space. Be sure to stick around to see what the results are. So in my last video, I showed you how to sprout radish seeds in a jar, but today I'm gonna to show you how to sprout broccoli seeds in a tray. This is a product that I just purchased from Handy Pantry that has three stackable trays inside. So we have three sprouting trays, and then we have a little tray here, which the bottom one acts as a catch for the water, and the remainder will fit over the sprouting trays to keep the seeds in darkness. So I'll show you how this looks. What you would do is for this first tray, you would put it down like that. Whoops, let me make sure the camera is showing you what I'm trying to show you. There we go. And then they continue to stack. So this next tray is called the sprouting tray. So this one, this other tray goes over the top just like that. Then the next sprouting tray, and of course this is assuming that you're going to use all three of this trays at the same time because you don't have to do that. You could actually just use one tray at a time. And for the final tray, let me adjust my camera again. And then it stacks like that. So let me just scoot that back a little bit. Now it's time to soak your seeds. For broccoli sprouts, you'll want to soak about two tablespoons of seeds per tray. There's actually a guide that comes with this sprouting system and it tells you how many seeds to soak depending on what you're sprouting. Let your seeds soak overnight and then you're going to strain them the next day. Here's what we're going to do next. Okay, so the broccoli seeds have been soaking overnight. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, strain out the water. I didn't have a sprouting lid, otherwise I would have just used that, but I'll go ahead and strain out the water and then show you what we do next in the sprouting tray. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've put the uh, broccoli seeds in this tray, and again, the tray is the, the one, the tray we're using is the one with the holes in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spread out the seeds in an even layer around the surface area of the tray. So I'm just using a clean spoon to do that. And this is what it is looking like, if I can get this in camera correctly. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these seeds out. I'm gonna do this a couple of times. So I'm just gonna rinse these out. I just put a little bit of water and then this process sort of reminds me of gold panning. You just kind of move the water around a little bit so that the seeds can get the benefit of the moisture. Um, there are some holes at the bottom of this tray. It's really hard to show on camera. So that's draining out just as I'm kind of moving this in a circular motion. Sometimes this takes a little bit longer than I would like. And in that instance, what you can do to drain the water faster is just kind of tip it at an angle and then and just being careful not to let the seeds fall out. And then the water will drain much faster. Kind of shake it and just lean it over at an angle like that. So I'm just gonna give this another rinse. Kind of move it around a bit. And I'm just gonna angle it just to get it to drain a little bit quicker than it normally does. So once that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top of the other tr uh, tray and I'll show you how I, this all fits together. 
Again, these trays stack one on top of another. You don't have to use all three. I am because I like, I actually eat that amount of sprouts at any given time. So I'll go ahead and show you how this is all put together. Okay, so here is the other part of this sprouting kit that comes together. This is the tray that does not have any holes. So you just turn that over and then you put the tray with the seeds right on top of that. And I just wanna note that this tray has um, indentations in the top of it so that it will catch any water. So if your seeds still tend to have moisture, it will easily just drain on top. And then when you check your seeds, again, we're rinsing them twice a day. If there's excess moisture, you can just dump it over. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then the next part of the tray, again, I'm gonna use all three of the trays this time goes like that. The next tray will go on here and so forth until you have all of the seeds stacked, um, the trays stacked one on top of another. Okay, so today is day six. Again, this is my first time sprouting in the sprouter, and I just wanna mention that if I had wanted to finish these sprouts on day five, that would have been just fine. Let me show you what's going on in these trays here. So this is the first tray. Let me just angle this over there for you. This looks pretty great. We have all of these microgreens. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to rinse these out for a final time and then show you what we do next. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just like last time, we're gonna give the, the broccoli sprouts a good amount of water. And then again, this always reminds me of gold panning, just kind of circulate the water around the tray and it's nice because now that these are fully grown sprouts you don't have to worry so much that the little seeds are going to slip through so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to tilt it at a at a steep angle just to fully get the water out and also help get some of the excess seeds out that didn't sprout so i'm going to do this about two or three times and then again, we don't have to be as careful. I am just tilting this over. You can put your hands over the sprouts if necessary, just to get rid of that excess water and excess seeds. One more time, and now I'm going to go ahead and do a further rinse where I can get rid of the excess, the little seeds that are left over and the, uh, the shells. Whoops, just wanna make a correction. Actually, before we finish getting rid of the shells, I am going to put these sprouts in a sunny window seal because let me get this just a bit closer and see if you can see. It's somewhat yellowish, so I'm gonna give it some indirect sun just so it can green up a bit. So if you have a sunny window sill or a spot that gets um, some decent amount of sunlight, then I would do that and just leave it for about a half an hour to an hour, depending on what you want to do. And here is what this is looking like just in the windowsill. So again, I'm going to leave it for about a half an hour to an hour, depending on when they green up and then we'll finish the rest of the steps. Okay, so our sprouts have been greening up for the last 45 minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and give them a rinse to get rid of some of the seed shells that are left over. It's not really, um, it's not gonna hurt if you bite through them and it's more of a personal preference. So I just like to get rid of some of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them to this tray here that came with the sprouter. It doesn't have any holes in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that in here. And hopefully I don't make a mess on camera. Okay, so once you go ahead and fill your sprouts with water, what you can do is go ahead and strain out the water and the seeds will fall out. You, you can use another one of your um, trays from the handy sprouter and just put it over the top 
and then just kind of tilt it over. Whoops. You don't want the sprouts to come out, but just kind of tilt it over at an angle. And that way you can get rid of as many seeds in the water as possible. So once you've done that, you'll just continue to break up the sprouts a bit and then use another tray or you can use a strainer and just kind of pour out that water and allow the remaining shells to come out. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up with my other trays and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So the next thing that you wanna do after you have drained your seeds and drained your sprouts and gotten them to the point where you have enough of the shells out, you're gonna wanna dry them. So you have a couple of options. You could um, use some paper towels or you can use a salad spinner if you're not gonna lose too many sprouts, sprouts in the process. But you're just gonna wanna go ahead and just um, get them as dry as possible. Okay, so I have finished drying all three levels of sprouts. Um, I did use all three trays, I should say. So these broccoli sprouts are ready to be put in the fridge. If you do, if you have paper towels, you can line paper towels around your container. Glass or plastic is fine. And that will continue to draw out the moisture. For what I'm gonna do, and it's just a personal preference, is I have a lid that's gonna go on top of this, and then I'm going to just crack open the lid for some airflow. Uh, different people will not allow airflow and others will. It just depends on a personal preference. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I am going to uh, put the lid on, crack it open just a bit for some airflow, and then I am going to make sure to eat these within seven days. That is usually the amount of time that you wanna leave them no longer than seven days. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. This was the first time that I've used the handy um, sprouter to, to uh, sprout these broccoli sprouts and it was really great. Um, just for reference, I did end up with about just over four cups worth of sprouts and again, it took about one square foot of counter space and I, this was about a six day project, but five would have been fine. These would have been ready yesterday. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you so much for tuning in.